you guys? What are you working on? We're just studying for imaging. Yeah, we're trying to get through all the principles of MRI. Oh, really? What are you studying right now? Right now, we're talking about how protons spin and have magnetic moment, you know, stuff oh, like that. Cool. Yeah, I actually know a really good song about proton spinning and moments and stuff like that. Really? Let's hear it. for learning about how protons spin and get knocked down by the RF pulse. But I know a song that talks about all of the principles of MRI and its applications. Oh, really? We'll be spinning when we're spinning. We'll be spinning. We get knocked down. We get up again. You're never gonna keep us down. We get knocked down. We get up again, you're never gonna keep us down. We get knocked down. We get up again, you're never gonna keep us down. We get knocked down. We get up again, you're never gonna keep us down. I still don't know what that has to do with MRI. It has everything to do with MRI. This is like a hydrogen atom spinning on its axis, and then it gets knocked down by the RF pulse, and then it processes as it gets back up again. Oh. Maybe it'll make more sense if you watch the rest of it. When protons spin, they have a momentum and a magnetic moment in a magnetic field. A certain hydrogen, the moment processes around the Z. When it is pulsed, it gets pushed down into the XY plane. And now it's all convoluted, so let's view it in a spinning frame. We like to fight you too, waiting for it to eat. And by Chi-Chi Star, I'll be for Chi-R. Your phase is when you pulse by 90 degrees. Your phase is when you pulse by 180 degrees. We get knocked down by the arc pulse, and then we get out of phase. We get flipped back 180 degrees, and then we get back in phase when we deface. By T2 star, the transverse signal decays. Then the pi pulse, it refocuses, and the echo it displays. Drop the RF pulse and the phasing gradient. Slice selection gradient and the redirect gradient. We use the gradients in order to select the slice. We use the gradients in order to do localize. Musculoskeletal disorders such as a tear in the ACL or neoplasm in the brain. We get knocked down, we get up again. You're never gonna keep us down. We get knocked down, we get up again. You're never gonna keep us down. We get knocked down, we get up again. You're never gonna keep us down. We get knocked down, we get up again. You're never gonna keep us down.
See, it just, doesn't that make so much more sense now? It does. My friend actually sent me a picture of her ACL MRI just the other day. You guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah. She said this is the image that they used in order to see if her ACL is actually torn or just stretched. Wow, you know, it's really interesting how many different kinds of tissues you can use MRI to image. Um, my mom's cousin's boyfriend just, like, last week got an MRI done on his brain to see if he had a tumor. You guys want to see? Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the contrast between different tissues and MR images is actually really good, and that's why it's so useful for clinical diagnoses. You guys, I think I get it now. That song was perfect. I'm so glad it helped. <laughs>